hope everyone's good and happy Friday. Today we're going to read a story off of Epic. It's called Trees by Harold Morris. I'm going to show it to you on my laptop. So let's get comfortable and read a book. Here is the cover. Here's the title, Trees, and the author, Harold Morris. Look at that beautiful tree. Trees are living things and trees grow all over the world. What animal is that? An owl. Trees provide food and shelter for all other living things. So if you look closely here, this is a bee's nest. This is something you never wanna go near and be extra careful. Trees have a life cycle. So let's go through this, take a look. So this is the beginning. This is how they start to grow. This is an acorn, which is a seed. After that, it will sprout. Then it goes over here, sapling. And then last, it is a mature tree. So let's start with the acorn. So acorns grow on oak trees. When acorns fall to the ground, some grow to new trees. Many trees can live up to 40 or 50 years. Wow! Some can live hundreds, even thousands of years. So take a look at this. This is called bristlecone pine trees. And they are the oldest trees on planet Earth. So take a look, those look super cool. Next, I'm gonna show you how we know the age of a tree. Let's take a guess. How do you think you know the age of a tree? Well, we count its rings. So look at this, see all these circles here? So each ring is one year. So you would start from this little middle circle and you would have to count all these lines to know how old this tree is. Some trees lose their leaves in the fall. These trees are deciduous trees and look at how beautiful that looks. Oh, look at that. These boys and girls are evergreen trees and they do not lose their leaves. They stay green all year. Most evergreens have needles, not leaves. If you remember on Miss Cronin's Nature Walk, I found some of these and we talked about how they were sharp. Some of you might see these two around the holidays. Now we're gonna go through what trees look like through the different seasons. How many seasons are there? There are four seasons, there are four seasons, right? So we have winter, spring, summer, and fall. So let's check it out. Trees look different. What season do you think that is? Winter. This one is for the season we're in now. Spring, next, summer, and then it's gonna change to fall. Like all plants, trees release oxygen into the air. They do this, this is a big word, photosynthesis. Trees take in sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Oxygen, boys and girls, helps us to breathe. So with reading this book, I don't know how the weather is gonna be today, so you might be able to look out your window or find some really cool videos on YouTube, but this weekend's gonna be super nice and the learning can continue. And you can become a backyard scientist. So you would study the trees in your backyard, and you could take notes. You could bring a clipboard and some paper, draw pictures of what you see, try to guess maybe how old the tree is. That would be a fun game. Um, and what shape are the leaves? And maybe you'll happen to see some animals like squirrels 
running up and down the tree. Or I know some of you did bird feeders too. So check that out. So here's our glossary at the end, which is our vocabulary words. So we have deciduous. Deciduous trees lose their leaves every year for their fall colors. Evergreen trees stay green all year. This one, green all year. This is oxygen. Oxygen is gas that is found in the air. We need this to breathe. Remember the big word, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is how plants make their food. The next one was sapling. A sapling is a young tree. So after the seed, remember the little acorn? It sprouted and then turned into this, a sapling. Lastly, what do you think this is? Season. A season is each of the following four parts of the year. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Four. The end. So I know the story said to be a scientist, so let's check out some of the trees that are around my front yard. Look at that tree. It actually happens to have two trunks coming out of it. Over to this tree, I can go up to it. I can study the bark. Something really cool too, if you take a big white piece of paper and tie it around and color over it, you could trace the bark that you see. Another tree that's in my front yard, and if you look, there are flowers, and it looks like a very pretty spring tree. Lastly, guys, check out this tree. This looks different. Almost looks like a very big holiday tree. And to be a backyard scientist or a scientist looking at trees, if you don't have a magnifying glass, remember you could use your camera, zoom in, check out the branches. Look at that. See when I zoom in? And maybe you could spy for some animals that you might see. Have fun, everybody.